which of the following statements states the main idea of this passage appropriately the passage is about david cameron's invitation and its realization to egyptian president to visit london to talk about issues surrounding regional security and counter terrorism Britishers, meanwhile, were protesting Sissi's visit due to certain human rights concerns, and asked David Cameron to raise his concerns with Sissi. Let us look at the options. Option A: Press, media, and people did not very well take to the idea of David Cameron inviting the Egyptian president as an act of socio-political friendliness. Now this option is very narrow in scope as it does not talk of the result or purpose of Sisi's visit. Moreover, the option has a negative tone which is not reflected by the passage. Option B: The visit of the Egyptian president Sisi was as controversial as it was necessary and opened multiple discussions on whether it was the best course of action by Cameron. Now the passage does not discuss if the invitation was the best course of action by Cameron so this option is factually incorrect. Option C. Whenever there is some terroristic activity involved the nations concerned are always under pressure to rectify the political tension by extending friendly invitations as is the case for the UK and Egypt. Now this option is too general for it to be the central idea of the passage. The passage only focuses on UK and Egypt and does not really generalize what they are doing. Option D. The proposed and realized visit of the Egyptian president Sisi to the UK was an event marked with concern and hope on behalf of both the host country and the home country of the invitee because of recent unrest. Now, this option is in line with the media, main idea of the passage and hence is the correct answer to the question. In the given context, what is the role that para 4 plays in shedding some light on the relationship between the UK and Egypt? Let us look at the paragraph. We are working intensively together in the spirit of close cooperation and I am immensely grateful for all the efforts the Egyptian authorities have made so far. Cameron said, Sisi claimed that the British government had been satisfied with Egyptian airport security when it requested information 10 months ago, but asserted that Egypt was completely ready to cooperate with all of our friends to strengthen security. Let us look at the options. Option A. Para 4 acts as a stamp of good intent and positive outlook on parts of both Cameron and Sisi as they state their motivations in trying to reconcile the differences created between the two nations. Now this option states how the invitation and realization of the invitation has positively affected the situation between Egypt and the UK. This reflects what is already mentioned in the paragraph 4 and seems to be a good answer. Option B. Para 4 is a connecting link between the invitation extended by Cameron and the positive resp responses from Sisi, which in turn reflects well on both parties as they shake hands. This option is incorrect because it calls the para a connecting link, which is what makes it incorrect, as even though the paragraph follows from the previous paragraph, that is the third paragraph, the fourth paragraph is not linked with the fifth paragraph. So this is not a connecting link. Option C. Para 4 is an attempt to prove that both Cameron and Sissi have only the best intentions for their respective countries benefit as they come together to forget past disasters. Now this talks of intentions which are not mentioned in the paragraph, they are not even suggested in the passage. Also, there is no mention of past disasters in the paragraph. So, option C is also incorrect. Option D. Just like Germany has done for Greece and the US has for Iraq, the UK is now doing the same for Egypt by extending a friendly hand when the latter needs one the most. Now, this point goes beyond the scope of the passage because the passage does not really talk about Germany or Greece. Hence, it's incorrect. It even goes beyond the scope of the paragraph. So option D is incorrect and the correct answer to this question is option A. 
based on the information furnished in the passage above all of the following statements are correct except option a david cameron and president sisi have met at least once to discuss the political military unrest caused by events in 2013 now this option can be inferred from the second paragraph which says sisi arrived in london on wednesday night and met thursday with cameron and senior members of the cabinet now this meeting was related to the political military unrest that were caused by events in 2013 so option a can be inferred option b the, there were protestations and exhibition of disagreement and dislike amongst people at the venue of sisi's sisi's proposed visit and there were security measures required now let us look at the penultimate line of the first paragraph for this it says five others were seven people were arrested during thursday's demonstration including two people for assault five others were arrested after holding a dime to block the egyptian president from entry number 10 metropolitan police told busfeed news now it clearly states that there were demons there were protests and dislike amongst people at the venue of sisi's proposed visit and security measures were required to arrest these people and to deal with the demonstrations option c the demonstrations by halawa's family were supported by human rights watch and amnesty international as a sign of their allegiance to the rabba victims now this option cannot be correct because we cannot infer that the human rights group support the demonstration by halawa's family option d there has been insistence following the rabba events to question the egyptian forces on their past acts of unjustified violence against peaceful protesters let us look at the sixth paragraph it says human right groups such as amnesty international and human rights watch have urged the british government to confront sisi on human rights issue and these human rights issues are related to the the death of over 800 people at the hands of egyptian military forces in rabba in 2013 and as we can see in the last paragraph the prisoners were arrested solely for peaceful protest or their political or religious sympathies so option d also can be inferred and the only option that cannot be inferred is option c and that is the correct answer to this question